بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم All right, that's great. So we are going to start with IELTS listening and listening is the module which can improve your overall band score. Listening and speaking. These two, two modules can give you very good band score within 25 minutes in listening and 11 minutes in speaking. Okay, now let's make a start. Section one, complete the notes below. This sentence will always tell you about the question type. Complete the notes below. What does it mean? Notes completion. And notes are incomplete sentences. Right? Write no more than two words and or a number. Two words, no more than means maximum two words. Minimum one word. And then and or a number. It means two words plus number, one word plus number, only number, only one word. Right? You understand that? Okay, answer can be like five beautiful cats, number and two words. Five cats, word plus number. Answer can be only cats or answer can be only five. Okay, Hillary Lodge Retirement Home. Now, retirement home is like, uh, what do we call it, old homes? Yes. People live there, retirement home. The name of the manager, Kathy, example is given. Now, it'll start. Uh, in IELTS listening, it is very important to go with the audio. How to go with the audio? You can see on question booklet, some information is given without questions. And some information has got questions. So the information which is without questions, you have to just go through that information. So that when you come to the question, you are ready and alert. I tell you how. For example, they've written activities program involving volunteers monday evenings computer training now when they reach computer training you know now audio is here right after that training needed in how to produce now underline the word produce and tell me a synonym of produce make develop create Okay, how to introduce, how to produce. It can be how to produce, how to create, how to develop, how to make. So answer will come right after the synonym of produce. Now I play the audio, listen carefully and then write down your answer. And you need to follow the audio from the beginning. As it starts, the name of the manager is Kathy. Say, well, my name is Kathy and I'm the manager. And you should know now they are there. You know, like this, they brought me to reach here, brought me to reach here, they have reached there. So you should know where the audio is. And when the answer comes, I mean, you will come closer, 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 closer to the question. And when you come very closer and they speak the answer, write it down and then move on again with the audio. You and audio should go together. You means you on question booklet. Okay? Now I play the audio. Please listen and answer. You will hear a phone conversation between two people, Kathy and John. John is hoping to volunteer at a retirement home. Hello, Hillary Lodge Retirement Home, Kathy speaking. Hello, my name's John Shepherd. Could I ask if you're the manager of the home? That's right. Oh, good. Hello, Kathy. A friend of mine is a volunteer at Hillary Lodge, and I'd like to help out too, if you need more people. I work part-time, so I have quite a lot of free time. We're always glad of more help, John. Shall I tell you about some of the activities that volunteers get involved in? Please. Well, on Monday evenings, we organise computer training. We've got six laptops and five or six residents come to the sessions regularly. They're all now fine at writing and sending emails, but our trainer has just moved away and we need two or three volunteers who can help the residents create documents. Just simple things, really. I'd certainly be interested in doing that. Great! Great! Documents. And have you noticed one thing? You have to wait for the answer to come patiently. 
when they said Monday evenings, computer training, this and that. So, and finally they said create documents, create documents. So for produce, they use the word create. Answer is documents. Now you cannot say I will write docs. Docs is the short form of documents. They do not accept any short forms. Apart from days of the week, months of the year, there they accept short forms, but otherwise you need to write full word, okay? Now, let's go on. Tuesday afternoons, singing. The home has a... Now listen, the context or the subject is singing. The home has a dash and someone to play it. What do you think? Instrument. An answer is going to be a musical instrument. For example, if they say, we don't have a piano, but we have a guitar, and we want someone to play it. Answer is guitar, right? So the musical instrument that they have, that's what's going to be your answer. Then on Tuesday afternoons, we have an informal singing class, which most of the residents attend. We've got a keyboard and someone who plays, but if you'd like to join in the singing, you'd be very welcome. I work on Tuesdays at the moment, though that might change. I'll have to give it a miss for now, I'm afraid. OK. Keyboard. And have you noticed one thing? Their accent. OK. I have... And for now, okay, copy this thing. This will improve your band score in speaking. So answer is keyboard. keyboard. How many words? One. One. Mm. Keyboard should be written together as one word. But even if by mistake you write as two words, they'll accept it. Or if you write uh, a hyphen between keyboard, they'll accept it. But actually keyboard is one word. Okay, Thursday mornings, growing dash. Underline the word growing. What do we grow? That's it. So answer is going to be plants. If they grow plants. And if they grow vegetables, answer is vegetables. vegetables. So whatever they grow, focus the word grow. Right? And grow dash means there's going to be a commodity. They grow, whatever it is. Then on Thursday mornings, we generally have a session in our garden. Several of our residents enjoy learning about flowers where they grow best, how to look after them, and so on. Flowers, where they grow best. They, what do they mean by they? Flowers. Flowers, where they grow best and how to look after them. So growing, where they grow best. The rewording of growing is where they grow best and how to look after them. So answer is flowers. Good job, plural. Question number four, home and never read article, ah uh, and the, never read, don't waste your time in reading and in listening, never read article. Question number four, home doesn't have many, underline, underline, doesn't have many. Now, what's the rewording for doesn't have many? Okay, the first thing is many, it means answer must be a countable noun. An answer must be plural. Okay? So countable. Countable is, for example, milk is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. uncountable. Uh, trees. Uncountable. countable noun, right? So they say here, home doesn't have many dash for gardening. Now underline the word doesn't have many and write there few. Few or limited or you can write not very many. Not very many many okay and whatever they say and, and then they say for gardening what do we need for gardening okay you never guess okay aap logon ka guess acha nahi hai theek hai kabhi guess nahi karna answer yeah ek ne bhi dhang se answer nahi bataya okay let's go on is that something you're keen on I'm no expert, but I enjoy gardening so yes I'd like to get involved do you have your own tools at the home? We've got a few, but not very many. I could bring some in with me when I come. Thank you very much. Tools. And for tools, second time he used the word some. 
some and tools this is called referencing second time they did not use the word tools they use the word some and you should know these words some these those right so answer is tools t double o l s very good tools let's go on after that they, you can see there is a point without any question now they will talk about interview go in on dash any time yeah it's going to be day of the week go in on dash any time for example go in on sunday any time go in on whatever right now let's see and then any time uh maybe they can say uh you may come on friday at 5 pm will that be the answer friday will that be the answer why not yes they said 5 pm so or and then they say if it is sunday then you can walk in any time answer is sunday for example on monday you can come between 4 to 6 on friday you can come between 9 to 12 and saturday is a free day so you can come any time got it so saturday will be the answer got got the point yes let's see uh, one very important thing for volunteers is that we hold a monthly meeting where they all get together with the staff it's a chance to make sure we're working well together and that everyone knows how the residents are and what's going on in the home uh huh now obviously we'd need to get to know you before you become one of our volunteers of course could you come in for an informal interview later this week maybe I'm busy the next couple of days but would Saturday be possible? Certainly. Just drop in any time during the day. Saturday. And see check your English. This is really standard English they are speaking. They are enjoying. They are they are actually emphasizing stress patterns and all that. So correct answer is Saturday you may write SAT for Saturday but i would recommend you to write full Saturday okay okay guys let's go on this time we are going to learn how to deal with last five questions in IELTS listening part 1 especially question 6 to 10 so let's see interview with assistant called it means the kathy was manager ਇਹ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਕੈਥੀ ਸੋਹਣੀ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਆ ਕੈਥੀ ਵਾਸ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਨਾਓ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅਸਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਅਸਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਪਰਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਦਾ ਵਰਡ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਰਿਟਨ ਔਨ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਬੁਕਲੈਟ ਵਿਲ ਨੇਵਰ ਬੀ ਦੀ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਨ ਆਇਲਸ ਲਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਥੈਟ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਐਂਡ ਸਿਲੀ ਥੈਟ ਅ ਵਰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਰਿਟਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਰਾਈਟ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਵਰਡ ਐਜ਼ ਐਨ ਆਨਸਰ ਕੈਥੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਥੇਅਰ ਸੋ ਕੈਥੀ ਕੈਨ ਨੇਵਰ ਬੀ ਦੀ ਆਨਸਰ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਵੇ ਕੈਥੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ assistant so interview with assistant called now if the name is normal english name they will not spell it that makes sense called means interview interview called i'll not laugh listen listen one thing is you know when you call someone listen uh, in french language we say je m'appelle asad je m'appelle means i call myself asad it's another way of asking people about their names for example what's your name one thing second what do you call yourself what do you call yourself in french we say comme vous appelez vous comme vous appelez vous means how do you call yourself je m'appelle i call myself so over here call means what do you call yourself means name so it's not interview called and interview is gone up there please don't do any links like that it will be horrible then your listening test will be horrible interview with assistant called name of assistant will be the and when you read the question you should know answer is name of assistant yeah i won't be working then so you'll see my assistant maraid Sorry, how do you spell that? It's M A I R E A D. Maraid. Maraid. Okay, got that. You will hear a phone converse. Okay. Listen, listen. When she said Maraid, Maraid, what does it mean? R. It's understood. 
ओके सो एम ए आई आर ई ए डी नाउ देयर आर इज लाइक आर सॉफ्ट इन ब्रिटिश इंग्लिश आर इज सॉफ्ट इन अमेरिकन इंग्लिश इट्स अ बिट रफ आ आर सिस्टर सिस्टर टर डिप्नाउंस इट लाइक दैट गॉट इट नाउ डू आई नीड टू प्ले इट अगेन नो Question number seven: Address of home. An answer will come after seventy-three. So your clicking point is seventy-three, and then before road. And if the name of the road is normal, they will not spell it. And if the name is unusual, like Maraid, how you write Maraid? Okay. So if it is unusual, then they will spell it for you because your listening is not your general knowledge test, and it's not your spelling test. By the way, that is why. they keep answers very simple very simple words just take a look answers are documents keyboard flowers tools they just have simple words okay so question number 7 it's not a name i'm familiar with oh it's an irish name irish. she comes from dublin right and the road that hillary lodge is in is called bridge road isn't it that's right number 73 fine Now see number came at the end bridge road b r i g b r i d g e bridge and road is already written and some of you will do this mistake i would call it a silly mistake on your answer sheet to write bridge road bridge road what is written in the question never write it in an answer your right answer will be wrong if you write bridge road so answer is bridge Okay, open house days. Agree to help on. Now, agree to help on. It can be day or it can be a date, or it can be an event. Agree to help on Sundays. Agree to help on tenth July. Agree to help on occasions or something like that. Now, see, agreed. Now, very says, well, I'm sorry, I don't have time for that, or on 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 those days I'm busy. right or i'm not available that will not be the answer so where he's going to agree to help that will be the right answer oh one other thing you might be interested in we're holding a couple of open house days and still need a few volunteers if you're available what are the dates there's one on april the 9th and another on the 14th of may they're both saturdays and all day events i can certainly manage may the 14th i've got another commitment on april the 9th though that would be a great help 14th may and you noticed why not the other date is wrong because he said i have another commitment see so this test will teach you very good things because this book has been compiled by Colin Pollen who is a senior Cambridge examiner and uh, she has written many Cambridge IELTS books and she has designed many Cambridge IELTS tests as well anyways do you understand why other answer is wrong and why this answer is right ha huh? sure sure paji dobara bolyo hmm Yes. No, that will be wrong because you know if you agree to help on Saturday. Now listen, Saturday cannot be the answer because they are talking about the date as well. So if you write only Saturday, uh, open house days. They have written open house days. Agreed to help on. Yeah, it can be Saturday as well. Yeah, it's a bit confusing. But both are Saturdays. Yeah, exactly. Exa no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. She's right. Listen. There is the commitment. Both are Saturdays. If you write Saturdays, then how do you know which Saturday? Yes. So agreed to help on April one or the other one. Yes, you're right. Okay, let's go. Let's play it again. Oh, one other thing you might be interested in. We're holding a couple of open house days. And still need a few volunteers if you're available. What are the dates? There's one on April the ninth, and another on the fourteenth of May. They're both Saturdays, and all day events. I can certainly manage May the fourteenth. I've got another commitment on April the ninth, though. 
That would be a great help. Okay, so Saturday and then day. Does the sequence of days matter? May 14th. Oh, that's a very good question. Listen, correct answer is 14th May. Now you can write 14, 1, 4, May, or you may write 14 with TH and May, or you can write May 14th. Always it's fine. Right? There's no problem. Yes. Uh, okay, Saturday 14th May. They've written no more than two words and or a number. Yes, you may write that. Saturday 14th May. Saturday and May. They are two words. And yes, that, that should be correct. Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Uh, we'll show visitors where to. Now, to usually comes before a verb. Right? We'll show visitors where to go. Where to go, where to eat, where to drink, right? Where to sit. Okay, it's going to be something because after two we use verb. So will show. Who will show? This guy. He's going to be a volunteer, right? So he's going to show the visitors where to. Now, they will not use the word where to directly. For example, uh, you will have to tell people uh, where to sit or you'll have to tell them about. Now, yeah, they will use some verb like with to. Because otherwise they cannot use first form. Answer is going to be first form of the verb. Let's see. We're having several guest entertainers, singers, a brass band and so on. And we're expecting a lot of visitors. So one possibility is to help look after the entertainers. Or you could spend an hour or so organising people as they arrive. And then just be part of the team, making sure everything's going smoothly. Well, shall I show people where they can park? Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And you know, before that all was, they always do it. And many of you, innocent students, you will write your answer there. You know, many students, when the right answer comes, they are happy. Before that, they've written something and all that. So you need to wait for the answer. Right At the end he said, shall I show people where they can park? So where to park? P-A-R-K. Question number 10. Possibility of talking to a dash reporter. Good. Media reporter, news reporter. So answer will come with reporter. And one more thing. Uh, for reporter, they can use the word someone. For example, if answer is news reporter. Now, they will not use the word reporter because it's IELTS. If they use the word reporter, you will find the answer. You will get your desired band, then you will not repeat your IELTS, and you will fly to your destination country. They don't want to do that. They want a returning customer without any discount. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So, instead of reporter, they may use the word someone from the news. Someone from the news. TV reporter. Someone from TV. Someone from TV. TV. Understand their psyche, how they do all the rewording and all that stuff. Now focus someone from and you will find the answer. One reason for holding the open house days is to get publicity for Hillary Lodge locally. So you may find you have someone from a newspaper wanting to interview you. They'll want to find out from two or three people why they volunteer to help at home. Someone from newspaper. And you will write newspaper as one word, okay? All right, now we have the map.